गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन हाउ आर यू ऑल फाइन होप सो चिल्ड्रेन आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग चैप्टर नाइन वी आर स्टार्टिंग विथ चैप्टर टेन एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज रेस्पिरेशन इन ऑर्गेनिजम्स फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग टिल द एंड ऑफ द डे वी प्ले सो मैनी गेम्स वी परफॉर्म सो मैनी एक्टिविटीज सच एज स्कीपिंग playing cricket badminton and even many of you are good athlete among us so now one thing comes to our mind after performing all these activities or else after playing for a longer period of time why do we breathe rapidly and why does our heart beats very fast even though we eat proper food we tend to consume balanced right we drink lot of milk but still why do we breathe rapidly so to answer all these questions we will be studying chapter respiration in organisms respiration in organisms when we study first question comes to our mind why do we respire so to answer this question i will ask you to come back to chapter 2 where you have been introduced with the term cell cell children If you remember, it's the smallest structural and functional unit of any living organism. It is the small microscopic unit. Cell helps in performing all the functions of an organism, such as nutrition. transportation excretion etc and children to perform these functions cell needs energy even when we are sleeping when we are reading when we are talking at each and every function at each and every activity that we perform we require energy every organism requires energy to carry out the life process and to work grow and develop so now the question comes to our mind and the question is where does the energy comes from so the energy it comes from the food that we take in all the living organisms need energy to live plants they obtain the energy from the food that they make animals they obtain the energy from the food that we eat we to obtain the energy from the food that we are eating as children you all know there are various components that we take in our food among them one is carbohydrate if you remember this carbohydrate during the process of digestion which is present within our food is broken down into glucose this glucose is a kind of sugar glucose is transported to each and every cell of our body through blood the cell of the body obtain this energy from the glucose by 
undergoing a process called respiration the respiratory system works with the circulatory system to deliver the oxygen from the atmosphere to every cell of the body in human beings the process of respiration involves breathing gaseous exchange and cellular respiration so children when the question comes why we should eat regularly the answer is to perform the activities that we do from morning till the end of the day that is why children our parents always insist us to eat our food regularly and timely the next question is what does the air contains so to answer this as you all know air is a mixture of gases it consists of 78% of the nitrogen 20.9% of the oxygen and some inert gases and carbon dioxide etc in this air as you have just now heard it consists of oxygen and carbon dioxide and children when we say breathing during breathing we just exchange the gas we take in oxygen and we give out carbon dioxide here the plants they take in carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen whereas we organisms that is human beings and animals we take in oxygen and we give out carbon dioxide so breathing is the process of taking in oxygen rich air and giving out carbon dioxide rich air and it is also called as external respiration when we talk of the respiration it is involving two steps one is breathing that we have just now discussed the other one is your cellular respiration cellular respiration it is a process of the exchange of the gases within the cell here oxygen is used to oxidize the food with the release of carbon dioxide and water along with some energy since this process takes place within the cell of our body that is why it is known as an internal respiration during respiration the digested food that is in the form of glucose reacts with the oxygen and during the reaction carbon dioxide is given out along with some water and energy so children we will discuss about cellular respiration in detail cellular respiration as just now we discussed of it takes place within the cell cellular respiration takes place in all the higher organisms whether it is a plant or an animal and even it takes place in the lower organisms that is yeast and bacteria cellular respiration is of two types aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen 
whereas anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen now children what is aerobic respiration the process of oxidation of the food with the help of oxygen present in the air to release energy is called aerobic respiration during this process the sugar is formed due to the process of digestion and it combines with the inhaled oxygen it then breaks down in carbon dioxide and water and releases energy in the form of atp here 38 atp molecules are formed whereas in anaerobic respiration the process is taken place without the presence of oxygen during this process the sugar breaks down into carbon dioxide alcohol and also produces some energy here only 2 atp molecules are produced the amount of energy released here in is much less as compared to that of the aerobic respiration as we have already discussed aerobic respiration takes place in higher organisms such as human beings and other animals whereas anaerobic takes place within your yeast and bacteria when we talk of anaerobic respiration the question comes does it takes place in human beings yes children to answer this we will be discussing the topic next day in our next period so for today till we have studied till your types of respiration that is aerobic and and aerobic respiration so children we i hope you have already understood the chapter the topic that we have just till now discussed so we will just recap once again all the topics i gave you a short introduction why do we breathe very fast then why do we respire after that from where do we get the energy what does air contains and then comes the steps of respiration among that we have discussed about breathing which is said to be your internal respiration external respiration and cellular respiration which is said to be your internal respiration and we have discussed about the two types of the cellular respiration aerobic and anaerobic i hope it is clear thank you and sayra